Hey, we're here at uh, the 1114 house on Southwest 6th Avenue. This is the Woodbury's house when I first met the Woodbury's. The mailbox actually still has their name on it. The Woodbury's were awesome people that really evolved over time. M Mr. Woodbury and Mrs. Woodbury loved owning these properties and knowing college students. The truth is, is we now have a lot more college students here, but I still enjoy getting to know some of them. Woodbury Row is uh, named after the Woodbury's and this stone house was, was theirs. This is where they raised their family for most of the years they lived here. The Woodbury family is proud of their name and they're proud of what we've done here. Uh, every time we do another phase of Woodbury Row, I usually talk to one of the family members and they're always excited to see what we're up to. The native field stone here on this building is from directly out in front of the street. When the street was cut in, they would put the sewer lines in, and when they dug the holes, they would pull these rocks out. They were giant rocks, and the masons would chip them away and use them to build houses. So it was literally a free material that would just be left when the neighborhood was created. We still simulate this quite often. We'll bring in field stone. It's the same exact church limestone rock, and then we have to use bricks that are similar. The bricks that we are used are actually the same bricks that are made for the University of Florida. There's lots of great architectural details. The columns, the corbels that stick underneath the soffit, that type of stuff you don't see today in most construction. But it's really cool to see it and take care of it and cherish it. A great example is this house was built in the 1920s or 30s, probably. But that column right there we built in 2012. So we did a pretty good job of replicating uh, some of the great old architecture that we already have.